Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently about 20 past 11 on Sunday the 20th of November. Um, I've had a very busy weekend with some client um, like online events. I'm currently reading Trouble with Lichen by John Wyndham. Yes, the front cover is missing half of this. I don't know how that happened. Um, it's okay. It's not amazing. It's not terrible. I'm only really going to talk about it in my wrap-up. I'm not going to do a dedicated review for it. Um, but yes, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying reading it, I guess. And uh, next I'm going to read The Marlowe Murder Club by Robert Thorogood. In the meantime, I'm going to sit here, be productive, edit some videos. Catch you in a bit. Dane reads. Hello everybody, it's ya boy. It is currently about half nine on Tuesday the 22nd of November. Uh, I'm feeling pretty rough. I've got a cold, so I've got a bit of a sore throat and just a tickly throat and cough and all of that stuff. Apparently it's not COVID. I did, oh, I did a test yesterday and I was clean. I might do another one tomorrow. We'll see. Um, I had two calls today. I've got five tomorrow, one on Thursday, one on Friday. So hopefully my, my voice holds up for that. I'm just cracking on with being productive. I might do a bit of editing. I might make a curry in a minute. I made some jelly earlier as well. So that's all good. Um, I'm currently reading The Marlowe Murder Club by Robert Thorogood. It's very good so far. I'm about halfway through. It's probably going to be a four out of five. Um, full review will be coming. It's interesting to read because I saw him speak in an event. And uh, also, uh, well, it's he lives in Marlowe. I used to work in Marlowe. It's set in Marlowe. So it's kind of cool to read about all these places that I know in real life and seeing them in fiction, you know? Um, and then after that, I'm probably going to read The Seeds of Time by John Wyndham. So that's really where I'm at. I do feel like absolute shit. I hope I sleep okay tonight because my first call's at noon tomorrow as well. And we will see. Yep. Yeah. Hello everybody. It is currently quarter past nine on the evening of Sunday the 11th of December. I know I have been shitty at vlogging. Um, I've just been doing loads of work basically so that's where all my priority has been and so I haven't had as much time for filming or even editing videos. Hoping to get back to it a little bit now just so I can get a little bit done before Christmas before I go home to visit my mum. Um, all is good really. Been a bit down today but that happens. I'm kind of nocturnal so that's sort of why. Been seeing Shay a lot. It's been prepping for Christmas, got my Christmas tree up, I've been doing a lot of reading. Um, I'm going to try and whiz through the books that I've read. I have a whole shit ton of them. Um, I then need to do a wrap up of these as well and then some reviews. But let's see what we got. Alright, so this is in no particular order. So I read House Arrest by Alan Bennett, 4 out of 5. These are his uh, pandemic diaries that he wrote during COVID-19. I've read quite a few of Bennett's diaries. Um, over sort of recent months and years. Some of them have been more interesting than others. Quite often they've ended up being like bedtime reads. Um, but yeah, that one was pretty good because um, it was short as well and obviously it was uh, sort of a historical point in time as well. So it was interesting to see his take on things. Um, yeah, I would recommend if you're a Bennett fan. All right, I read Five Get Beach Body Ready by Bruno Vincent, um, AKA Ina Blyton. It, it's uh, one of the famous five for adults parodies. Um, fun stuff. Made me chuckle a few times. It's about them getting ready to go on a summer holiday. Um, and kind of tackles like the bullshit that is the beach body ready idea and all that shit. Then I read The Seeds of Time by John Wyndham. This was a four out of five, so it was beach body ready, I guess. Um, and this is a short story collection. So I'd, I'd had a bit of hit and miss stuff with, um, with Wyndham recently, but this one was one of the better ones. Um, I think it's just because with short stories, He's a very good ideas writer, you know, and with short stories it means you can investigate more ideas. Um, the stories here we have Chronoclasm, Time to Rest, Meteor, Survival, Paulie's Peepholes, Opposite Number, Pillar to Post, Dumb Martian, Compassion Circuit and Wildflower. So yeah, that was pretty good. Then I read a book I was sent. So this is All Island No Sea by Chris Campbell. This is the second of Chris Campbell's poetry collections that I've read. I also spoke to him for my radio show, so that was fun. And um, yeah, he's a really decent poet. I gave this a four out of five. Let's see, find one of the poems I've tabbed out. I'll read it to you. Decorating the jungle. In the clearing of our jungle, our decorator grabs brackets to refix old blinds, clangs as she climbs up in the winter sunlight, breaking through thirsty plants. She's covered in crusting paint, her pockets are hammock for nails, she steps up, brushes white as a new trainer's, somehow spotless. Her colleague by the sitting room door, sniffing, hope it's put together well. Her hands move fast with a screwdriver, the only heavy thud when she drops it back on the table where my wife works, pushed back from the window in a cream hoodie, rising over her laptop. I'm waiting to hear if our offer on a home has been accepted, five other bids to compete with. 
The decorator huffs, she's up and down the ladder, short fire red hair and small tattoo on the lower back of her neck. She's taller now as the brackets appear, one by one, like fruit in trees, radiated the length of oak branches. In our jungle, the leaves hang longer as we fix the decor. They lean towards the radiator from all directions. The seller's decision looms. So I relate to that as I, well, not so recently now, but about a year and a half ago, I bought my first house, which is where I am now. So yeah, that was a four out of five. Then I read Chucky by John Wyndham that I was gonna review and then I decided not to because um, I didn't find enough to tab out. But it's just an interesting, it's a short novel. Um, again, it worked pretty well because of being the, like be, Wyndham being an ideas man, it worked well in that context. Um, if it had been longer, I think it would have grown tedious. But as it was, it was almost the other way around. It almost left me wanting to read more. Um, and it is about a child with an imaginary friend who may or may not be an alien um, and who has large amounts of intelligence. So yeah, that was like a 3.5 out of 5. Then I read The Girl in the Spider's Web by uh, David Lagerkrantz, which is continuing Stieg Larsson's Millennium series. Uh, it was okay. It's been about 10 years since I read the first, like the original trilogy. This is with a new writer continuing it. Um, and that, that kind of worked in his favour that it had been so long since I'd read the original because I, I kind of can't really judge whether he did a good job or not, you know. Um, but yeah, I did enjoy it. It's like a 3.5 out of 5, pretty generic thriller stuff. And it did an okay job of like recapping and bringing me back into the story, you know. Then I read, which one of these came first? Uh, Stow Away to Mars by John Wyndham. So this is about a guy who's trying to win a, a cash award for being the first person to land on Mars. And um, turns out there's a stowaway on board and it's a woman. Dun dun dun. Uh, this was written as like his John Bainan, uh, which was his uh, pen name. It was actually his real name as well. And his very early work. It's actually interesting because he predicts in this. Bearing in mind this was written at the start of the first world. So, sorry, start of the second world war. And he predicts there being a moon landing in 1969. Although I think he had his people get stuck on the way back or something. I can't quite remember now. But yeah, very prophetic, decentish sci-fi. Strong 3.5 out of five. Then I read Sleepers of Mars by John Wyndham, and the title story in this, this is short stories again. So Sleepers of Mars follows on from Stowaway to Mars and kind of looks into what happened to the Russians that are mentioned in that. Um, and then it also has some other stories, Worlds to Barter, Invisible Monster, very good, that was almost horror. The Man from Earth and The Third Vibrator, which has a cracking title. Um, probably a four out of five for these, because again, short stories, Wyndham's really good at doing short stories. Just recommended. Um, as you can tell, I won a bunch of John Wyndham books on eBay as a job lot. So I've been kind of powering through them all. Then I picked up Single Spies by Alan Bennett. And this contains an Englishman abroad and a question of attribution. Four out of five. Uh, and a four out of five for each of the, the two plays. I didn't actually read it because I'd already read both of those plays. And I realised that when I was reading the introduction. I was like, I've actually read this specific introduction before as well. Okay, then I read The Psychopathology of Everyday Life by Sigmund Freud. Uh, I actually had this as an audiobook. I, w I wasn't expecting to like it very much. I thought it was going to be too dense, but actually it is kind of eminently readable. Um, it's mostly about like memory and how our memory plays tricks on us, which I thought was quite cool. Um, again, I, with Freud, he's kind of been ridiculed a lot at this point. Um, so it's hard to take too, too much of what he says seriously, but it was interesting, uh, some food for thought. And it kind of explains why you like forget names and forget sentences and words in foreign languages and things like that. Um, I read it via an audiobook that I got via uh, LibriVox. And interestingly enough, so I, the audiobook I had before that was um, The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. And I guess it's because I had them both by LibriVox audiobooks. But I kept getting the two confused, so I kept forgetting that this was non fiction. Um, which was fine, you know, because it is it does kind of use storytelling to make his points. Um, I gave this probably a strong 3.5 out of 5, and my other half, Shay, is now going to read this as well. And that brings me to where I am at the moment, which is with Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson, June, The Lady of Caladan. So I'm about three quarters of the way through this. I will be doing a review of this, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, this is the penultimate June book at least at the time of filming. So this is the one where I read all of the June books and I thought I'd got completely up to date. And then I discovered there was a new trilogy that I didn't know about. And this is book two of that trilogy. Pretty good. Um, uh, Duke Leto and Jessica are a part at the moment. Paul's growing kind of into his, 
he's like 14 or whatever. Um, Duke Leto has always been one of my favourite characters. I always like him more than Paul, which I think is rather the point. Like, you're not meant to like Paul. He's the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy, you know. Um, but yes, I have been enjoying reading this quite a lot. Um, I do find as well with these trilogies, it's normally the second book has a bit of a lull and the third book kind of wraps everything up. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But that's where we're at. As you can probably tell, I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit, but I do still want to try and do a little bit more filming as well. So we're going to see how I get on with that. Yo, hello. It is um, five past ten on Monday the 12th of December, the 12th of the 12th, 22. And um, I'm still reading Dune, wherever it's gone. Where has it gone? It's over here. I am still reading. Oh. The Lady of Caladan by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson. I'm very close to the end now. You can just about see where I am. Um, so that is very fun. I'm enjoying that. I'm coming towards the end of my audio book of um, Sigmund Freud. The Psychopathology of Everyday Life. That's what it's called. I had to think for a minute there. And then I'm going to read some David Mitchell. I've told you all of this. I've put some flowers up over there that Shay sent me. Very kind of her. And I'm just sitting here being productive, really. Um, I had the Q&A call for one of my clients earlier, and that went well. Um, I slept in loads. I had like 13 and a half hours sleep, so I'm probably going to get more done this evening, I guess. Um, I'm going to quickly film the latest tab in my Dune review. I only have one more tab to update uh, people on. Um, in a minute, I'm going to go and do some filming for this client, KX10, who's, who's my American client, um, because I have, I'm doing a video on using Goodreads for authors, um, and my, I've made like a Goodreads profile for my granddad, because we've worked on a book together, so I've been using that as kind of as, as an example, so I'm going to go and film like the rest of that hopefully this evening, and then I'll hopefully do some editing and stuff as well, we will see. Hello everybody, it is me. It is um, 20 to 11 on Tuesday the 14th of December. My air freshener has just gone off, you probably heard that. Lots of lights flashing in the background, very pretty. Uh, I've just been doing some editing, I'm actually editing as we speak my review of Ghost Written by David Mitchell. Um, and then I guess I've got host after that, just having a little look at what I've got really. Um, slowly but surely copying stuff over to my Mac as well, because I've only got so much space, like at the moment I've got what? 7.58 gigabytes available although actually I have uploaded my uh, wrap up my November wrap up so I can delete that now so as stuff like gets uh, formatted and uh, formatted edited and uploaded and whatnot I can then delete it and make some more space so there we go nine gigabytes currently uh, exporting a reading vlog so again once that exports I can delete all the source files upload that um, yeah I'm just cracking on I finished my audiobook of the psychopathology of everyday life by Sigmund Freud that was a pretty solid four out of five to be honest next up I have the bone clocks by David Mitchell and uh, speaking of David Mitchell I'm currently reading dishonesty is the second best policy by David Mitchell but this is David Mitchell the comedian the bone clocks is cloud atlas David Mitchell both very good writers um, David Mitchell is one of my favorite comedians and this is like a collection of his news articles for I think for the observer or the Guardian or something like that um, and it's funny so far it does have that problem that you always get with newspaper uh, with like an, a collection of articles which is that like there's no necess not necessarily any narrative to them, they're just sort of randomly collected. But yes, I am enjoying it. After that, I am probably going to read The Guest Cat by Takashi Hiriade, I pronounce Butch's name, because uh, this is short, basically, so I can finish that pretty quickly. Um, and that's about it. I've been writing my Christmas cards. I have these really cute little Christmas cards that got black cats on them, so I need to send those soon because we have postal strikes here in the UK. And yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Hello, it's me, and I am tired. Um, it is currently about five past two on Friday, the 16th of December. I slept okay last night, although I did have like an anxiety attacks like during my sleep, which is never fun. But yeah, I got up at like half six today. I uh, went over to Shay's earlier and gave her some flowers, so that was nice. She's hopefully coming around this evening for. I think we're gonna have some pizza and play some Wii. Maybe maybe do my jigsaw. And we'll see. Um, I've been doing some guitar because I'm basically trying to tick everything off my to-do list before I go back to my mum's for uh, Christmas, so that. I don't have like stuff hanging over me while I'm away, if that makes sense. And so as part of that, I have my filming, like my guitar stuff to do. Today, uh, I've finished reading, um, what was it? Dishonesty is the second best policy by David Mitchell. That was a four out of five. Good stuff, full review coming soon. 
Uh, I'm currently reading The Guest, Bat by, Guest Cat by Takashi Hiraid. I am about halfway through, enjoying it so far. Review of that coming soon as well. Um, my friend Neil's book group read it and they all hated it. But I've quite enjoyed it. Um, although, I mean, it's about a freelance writer and a cat. And I'm a freelance writer who has a cat, so that's that's quite possibly why. Um, and I've also been reading uh, Cimetière by Stephen King, which is Pet Cemetery in French. Um, and yeah, I've made a decentish dent in it so far. I think I will actually be able to read it, so that's very exciting. Um, and the new June book arrived in the post today as well. Um, this is the third in this new trilogy, and it literally came out I think three weeks ago. So I'm excited to read that. But after The Guest Cat, I'm probably going to read The Prodigy by Herman Hess. Uh, I'm going to save the June book till when I go to visit my mum over Christmas because I'll sort of binge it while I'm away. So that's where I'm at. I'm so tired. Did I mention that I'm really tired? Hello! It is um, 10 past 4 on Monday the 19th of December 2022. I'm still reading The Prodigy by Herman Hess, although I'm right at the end of it. It's pretty good. Um, it's basically about a kid who's feeling pressured by his society and his parents well his father in particular to kind of undergo as much education as possible and it kind of covers why it might be a bad thing to over pressure our kids um, so I think even though it's kind of an older book it still has a lot of relevance today I've certainly enjoyed it um, it's been a bit slow going at times but worth reading next up I'm going to read um, did I pick out a book I did I'm gonna read a sense of wonder by John Wyndham and some other people it's over there um, so there is that. I have a client call at five. Uh, I've actually asked um, one of the other people I work with to take the call today and I'll do Thursdays because I'm just not, I'm not in a very good mental health place today. Um, yesterday was the art centre Christmas party thing so I went to that, it was okay. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about that. I think that's why I'm not in a particularly good headspace today to be honest, but anyway. Um, and that's gonna that's gonna be it for for this week. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Leave on a cheerful note, I know. Uh, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.